Avoid the Zara, Perak, Lifnei, Ideen, Davches, sponsored the Rafua Shalema for Yoshua ben Rachel. We begin with the Mishnah. This Mishnah discusses national pagan holidays and personal pagan celebrations. Business is restricted three days for national holidays, and for personal celebrations, business is restricted on that day and only with the person celebrating. Rebbe Mayer, Kalanda, a Roman holiday eight days after the winter solstice. Starnura, a Roman holiday eight days before the solstice. The background. Adam Arishon witnessed daylight gradually diminishing daily in the winter. He imagined the world was returning to a state of tohu due to his sin. Therefore, he fasted and prayed for eight days. When he realized after the solstice that it was a natural occurrence, he celebrated eight days and the next year celebrated all 16 days. The initial holiday was gratitude to Hashem, transformed into a pagan celebration. The Gemara explains he erred even according to the opinion the world was created in Nisan. Although he experienced different lengths of days and nights, the differences were not like during the winter. There is a similar teaching in Abraisa. The day created, he fasted and prayed after nightfall until sunrise. He then sacrificed a short par, an ox fully formed at birth. Question, was it prohibited to conduct business with cities surrounding Rome? Although they do not celebrate these holidays, they supply taxes and provisions used for these holidays. Answer, Rabbi Yeshua Levi holds Jews could not conduct business during Kalanda with surrounding cities. Rabbi Yochanan holds only Jews could not conduct business only with its worshipers. The proof, our Mishnah states, concerning a personal celebration, Ein Osur Ela Oso Hayom Oso Ha'ish, teaching one can conduct business with a subordinate of one celebrating a personal celebration. Similarly, for a national holiday, Jews invited to a Gentile wedding even if provided with kosher catering and a mashkiach, are liable for idol worship just responding to the invitation. Invitations after the wedding. Any invitation up to 30 days after the wedding, whether it mentions the wedding or not, is assumed to be associated with the wedding. More than 30 days, it is prohibited only if it mentions the wedding up to 12 months, unless the Jewish guest is an Adam Chashuv then he must refrain from attending even after a year. Although conducting business is prohibited only on the day of the wedding, partaking of his wedding feast may be prohibited biblically, therefore its laws are more stringent. Invitations before the wedding. The beer preparation begins the celebration. Any subsequent invitation must be refused. Cratesium. The day Rome defeated Cleopatra's armies at Actium. This war was after they destroyed the Greek Empire. They fought 32 battles, unable to defeat them until they aligned with the Jews. The Romans maintained their treaty for 26 years and then subjugated us, based on what Yaakov said to Esav, Yavor no Adoni lifnei avdo. Teachings from Rabbi Yossi ben Chalafta. Number one, 80 years before the Second Temple was destroyed, the rabbis decreed Tuma on lands outside Eretz Yisrael because Gentiles did not mark their graves and decreed Tuma on glass. Number two, 40 years before the destruction, the Sanhedrin moved to the Chanus. Capital crimes were too numerous to judge. Local courts of 23 judges could not judge capital cases if the Sanhedrin was not in the Lishchas HaGadzis. As the verse states, Vasis al pi adover asher yagidu lucha Min habakom hahu. Personal celebrations, number one, birthdays, coronations, and deaths of kings. The Chachamim, only a king whose possessions are burned at his demise, is occasion with idolatry. Personal holidays, number one, shaving one's beard or letting it grow. Two, returning safely from a sea voyage. Three, freedom from a prison sentence. Number four, a child's wedding. If you're enjoying Daphne 5, please click on the link below, subscribe, and become a sponsor. Thank you.